Hello lovelies, in this video the brilliant Dr Edwards is going to take you through enzyme inhibition, the mechanisms for it, how it can happen and how it can be overcome. Enzyme inhibition. Enzyme activity can be slowed or prevented by molecules other than the enzyme substrate. These are known as enzyme inhibitors. There are two types. Competitive inhibitors. These molecules will have a similar shape to the substrate. Be careful here, you cannot say they have the same shape. They compete with the substrate to bind to the active site. If they manage to bind to the active site, then they will block the active site so that the substrate can no longer bind. And so less, fewer, or no enzyme substrate complexes are formed. non-competitive inhibitors. These do not bind to the active site. They also don't compete with the substrate for the active site because they have a different shape. They bind away from the active site, but they still bind to the enzyme. It's at a site known as the allosteric site. They cause the active site to change shape. I can feel like you know where we're going with this. So that means that the active site is no longer complementary to the substrate, and so no enzyme substrate complexes can form. The action of these non-competitive inhibitors could be permanent, or it could be temporary or reversible. So it's not always something that can't be changed or can't be undone, and sometimes they bind and release intermittently to allow some enzyme substrate complexes to form. But often, if the majority of enzymes are bound by a non-competitive inhibitor, then the rate of reaction is going to stop. You may be asked to look at graph and identify which of the lines represents a different type of inhibitor. So normally this is done with a rate of reaction graph with substrate concentration on the x-axis. The way we can recognize a competitive inhibitor is that if you increase the substrate concentration, the rate of reaction will still increase and eventually it will meet the same end point as a normal enzyme reaction. This is because by increasing the concentration of the substrate, it will allow the substrate to try and outcompete the competitive inhibitor so more molecules of substrate will be present and therefore they will bind and create enzyme substrate complexes. For a non-competitive inhibitor, so the line looks very different for this graph. So it increases slightly, but then it flatlines very early and it's never gonna reach the same rate of reaction as the other competitive and normal enzyme reactions. This is because increasing the concentration of the substrate is gonna have no effect on the rate of reaction because the enzyme's active site has changed, so they cannot bind and they cannot form an enzyme substrate complex. There is obviously that initial increase Okay, so that initial increase obviously happens where some of the reactions occur until all the enzymes have been bound to or affected by the non competitive inhibitor. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches. <laughs> 